that's any viewers that did it. So today, if I can talk, I got this box in and it's a new, it's not a subscription company, but it's a new company called Duncan's Grab Bag of Books. And Grab, Bo Grab Bag of Books is exactly what it says. You get several different books and I think you get four hardcover, four paperbacks, and then an extra book, I think. I could be wrong because I haven't opened the package. I think one grab bag gets a limited edition or autographed copy, but that's just one grab bag. And right now he's got grab bags for horror, mystery, and crime, and and science fiction and fantasy. So obviously I chose science fiction and fantasy, and it comes in a really huge box. <laughs> so yeah, my friend Johnny Teo's got a sampler box from him, and I was just like, I want it so bad, and I shouldn't get this. But I got it because it was just, I can't resist it. I mean, that many books for the price it was, it's just ridiculous how good of a deal it was. And I just, I'm, there, I don't think there are any like companies that just send you a box of books. So this is really freaking awesome. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Hopefully I don't have any of the books in here, but I don't have a ton of science fiction or fantasy though. So that should be good. Put this over here because it's kind of heavy. Okay, I'm not looking. Okay, there's been paper. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> okay. I might have to look. I don't know because they're all kind of wrapped up. Uh, there's a bunch of bubble wrap. Bubble. Wait, there's a piece of paper, but I. Okay, I think one might explain what the company is. I think the other is spoilers. Or maybe not. Okay, spoilers and an order thing. Never mind. I was gonna read a company thing to you, but there wasn't one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna have to look like this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's so much bubble wrap. That's a good thing though. First up is Silhouette by D Dave Swavely, a piece or novel. And let's see. Wow, it's like in the near future, a post quake San Francisco San Francisco is ruled by a private corporation called the Bay Area Security Service. Its founder, Saul Rabin, is revered by many as the savior of the city, but by others he is feared and loathed as a fascist tyrant. And because of the cutting-edge anti-gravity technology being developed by his company, this controversial figure is about to become the most powerful man in the world. And it says Professor Blade Runner and Ghost in the Shell. This looks pretty good. I have not read this, so this is... Uh, Dave Swaley's first novel, so this looks really, really interesting, and uh, I'm so excited to read it. Johnny got this in his uh, package, I was like, oh, that sounds so good. <sighs> okay, next up, next up. Okay, we have Rule 34 by Charles Strauss, and this looks, just for the cover, looks just amazing. Like that artwork, that artwork. And let's see, what is this book about? Rule 34, internet meme class one vir virulent. Meet Edinburgh detective inspector Liz Cavanaugh, head of the innovative crime investigation unit, otherwise known as the Rule 34 squad. It's responsible for monitoring the internet, following trends to, to, to ha, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. To determine whether people are engaging in harmless fantasies or illegal activities. This sounds really cool. I'm just, I love that cover. And if any of you have read any of the books that I get in here, let me know if you like them, please. That'd be super duper awesome. Um, feeling around, feeling around. Okay. Now we have The Mad Scientist Guide to World Domination. And it's like a short story collection, and it's got stories by Diana, Diana Gabaldon, Austin Grossman, Seanan McGuire? I don't know how you say his name, I'm sorry. Naomi Novik, Daniel H. Wilson, and 17 other evil geniuses, which, these look like, these are pretty good authors. Introduced by longtime nemesis Chris Claremont, these proven dis despoilers of whole forest, corruptors of innocence, and enemies of white bread superheroes will mess with your head, or your head is already too messed to read with to read. Mwahahaha. <laughs> That's what the book, back of the book says. That seems pretty cool. Um... <laughs> And then there's this one. And it's called Parasite by Mira Grant. 
This year's most contagious thriller and special introductory prize. Your health is too important to trust just anyone. Choose Simbogen. Choose Freedom. So that looks pretty cool. Look how hefty that thing is. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. There is no like sickness or disease in this novel. And then somehow people get tapeworm. Looks pretty cool. So those are the four hardcovers, I believe. Let me feel around in here. Next is Fade of Black by Frances Knight. Some heroes prefer the shadows. And it says, it's a city built upward, not across, where streets are built upon streets, buildings upon building, buildings, buildings, a city that the ministry rules from the sunlit summit and where the forsaken lurk in the darkness of under. Rojan Dizon doesn't mind staying in the shadows because he's got things to hide. Things like being a pain mage with the forbidden power to draw magic from pain. But when the fate of Mahala depends on him using his magic, he can't hide forever. That sounds really, really cool. Like, gosh, this is, this is amazing. I'm like loving all these books so far just by their, their descriptions. Huh. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is like a book lover's dream. Okay. Here's a pretty thick one. The Dark Tower Companion, a guide to Stephen King's epic fantasy. Uh, I haven't read the Dark uh, Tower books, but I need to because now I have a companion. Or I might send it to someone that do has read Dark Tower because I don't know when I'll get to it, but this is really cool because if you've read it, I'm sure it's really nice to have and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now we have The Curve of the Earth by Simon Morden, winner of the Philip K. Dick Award. Welcome to the Metro Zone, post-apocalyptic London of the future, full of homeless refugees, street gangs, cricket cops, and mad cults. Inner Samuel Petrovich, a Russian emigre with a smart mouth, a dodgy heart, and a dodgier past. He's brilliant, selfish, cocky, and might just be the most unlikely champion a city has ever had. Armed with a genius level intellect, extensive cybernetic replacements, a built-in AI with godlike capabilities, and a plethora of Russian swear words, he saved the city from ruin more than once. He's also made a few enemies in the process, Reconstruction America being one of them. So when his adopted daughter Lucy goes missing, he's got a clue who's responsible and there's no way he's going to let them get away with it. That sounds really, really badass. I just, ah. Uh, uh, I'm in book heaven. Book heaven. Okay. Here's another book, and this is Maplecroft by Cherie Priest, The Borden Dispatches, and this is also in Johnny Tay's uh, sampler. It's like, um, it's like the story of Lizzie Borden, I think? Or it's like similar to it. Yeah. So that should be really interesting, because that's a really interesting case to me. So that looks really, really good. And the final book. I don't think I got one that was signed, unfortunately. Oh. I would have loved that, but it's okay. Is analog science fiction in fact double issue at cross purposes and wow, this is really cool. It's like I guess they're like little mini magazine, like little mini stories that are kind of like magazines or whatever. This is really cool. I like it. This is gonna be really fun to read. And now let's read the synopsis or whatever it is. Okay, my, that's my order thing. And it says, your grab bag includes The Curve of the Earth, The Dark Tower Companion, Fade to Black, The Mad Scientist Guide to World Domination, Maplecroft, Parasite, Rule 34, Silhouette, and a bonus item, Double Issue of Analog Science Fiction and Fact Magazine. So that's really, really cool. Kind of bummed I didn't get the signed or autograph, I mean, the signed or limited edition copy. But, you know, it's still a really good deal to get like um, nine books for the price. So definitely check out his website and I think he sells single books as well. I'm not totally sure. But check out the website and if you liked what you saw, check out the grab bags and see if you want to get one. They're pretty awesome. You get like nine books for one flat price. Free shipping is amazing. I don't know why I'm messing with this box. But yeah, I really love it. I really, really love it. And I can't wait to crack into these books because these are adding to my science fiction and fantasy, you know, library. So I'm just so excited even if it, if it doesn't seem like it, so <laughs> I'm excited. If you like this video, please leave a like. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried Grab Bag of Books or if you've read any of the novels I've gotten. Favorite series of friends and family can see. Share me as long as you do it nicely and subscribe for more videos where I start
stumble my words and stuff because I'm sleepy and ugh. I'm gonna go. Peace and kisses. Bye.